Rebel Salute is undoubtedly one of the most celebrated reggae festivals on earth, but it's also shrouded in mystery and controversy when it comes to its origin. If you ask renowned dub poet Yasa Safari, he'll say he started Rebel Salute. But if you ask singer Tony Rebel, he'll say it's his creation. But then there are people who will say that Rebel Salute is a rebranding of Garnet Silk's birthday bash. What's the real story and what's the connection among Yasa Safari, Tony Rebel, and Garnet Silk? To understand the dilemma, let's return to 1993. Jamaican pop culture has seen many formidable groups and crews, perhaps less spoken about is the Three Musketeers. No, they weren't a singing group, but instead three friends who hung around each other so much that they attracted the name The Three Musketeers. Yes, a Safari, a St. Elizabeth native, had recognized his calling as a socio-political revolutionist in the early 1980s, often organizing events which promoted Pan-African awareness and equal rights and justice for all. It was also around this time that he discovered his affinity for writing and soon became a leading and award-winning dub poet. Yasas was childhood friends with Garnet, who was born in Manchester. Garnet actually started pursuing a music career as a DJ when he was 12, toasting on sound systems which was a common means of entry in the music business at the time. He went by the moniker Little Bimbo and continued making the rounds until he eventually met Rastafarian DJ Tony Rebel who also hailed from Manchester. Time passed as both artists were building their careers and they reconnected in 1987 when Tony was a star DJ on Sugar Minot Sound System. They started performing with sound systems as a duo and the audience ate it up. Soon enough, Tony, with the help of Yasos, convinced Garnet to convert to Rastafari. So by this time, all three men are friends and creating music together. Collectively, they were also aligned with the Christian Soldiers movement and altogether the Rastafarian Collective, which was challenging the gritty dancehall lyrics at the onset of the 90s with a roots revival Afroconscious wave. Per an interview I did with Yasos in early 2018, the idea for Rebel Salute came after he did a birthday bash for Garnet in 1993. I'm the one who conceptualized and executed the first two Rebel Salute shows and the things evolved from there. I had always envisioned starting a revolution to own something with the Christian Soldiers Movement and others we had around us at the time like Everton Blender and Garnet Silk. I said to Tony Rebel that we should have a birthday bash for his birthday. He didn't like the idea. So I said we're not call it that, we'll call it Rebel Salute to represent not just him but all of us who are rebels in our own right. So Yasas claimed that he invested his own money and with the help of singer and friend Yuton Green, the first actualized at Brooks Park in Mandeville in 1994. The energy that was felt at the Garnet Silk birthday bash was replicated at the first Rebel Salute. The energy was just pure and crystal. It was huge. We had Bujibanton, Sugar Minot, Christian Soldiers, Garnet Silk, myself, Everton Blender, Judy Mowat, Marcy Griffiths, among others. It was just something special. People were mesmerized. Garnet perished in a fire that year in December after visiting his mom in his Hatfield Ward Park hometown. A tribute was paid to him at the second staging of of Rebel Salute. I want to add that Yasus's official website also credits his role in the Rebel Salute brand as follows. He has developed many annual edutainment events such as Yasa Safari and Friends, Garnet Silk Birthday Bash, Rebel Salute, Poetry in Motion, and so on. While Yasus takes authorship for the event, should you check the official website for Rebel Salute, Yasus's name or possible involvement isn't mentioned at all. In fact, the About Us section of Rebel Salute's website takes a less biographical approach and instead focuses on what they've achieved, their points of difference as a reggae music festival, and their legacy. In a 2017 interview, Tony acknowledged that there are various sides surrounding the origin of Rebel Salute and sought to clear the air with his side of the story. According to him, he is the conceptualizer of the event, which he said was first staged at Fails Entertainment Center in Mandeville and then moved to Brooks Park, unlike Yasus's story of the first staging being held at Brooks Park. Now, more time, enough places no go, enough people um, ask some question and say some things. Like even a while ago on the Virgin come and say, yeah, Rebel Salute, God, it's your birthday. All right, so hear this now. This is important. Listen, Rebel Salute, is a celebration of Tony Rebel's birthday. The first Rebel Salute was on the 14th of January 1994 at Fairs Entertainment Center. You want to know some of the people that was on it? Garnet Silk was on it. Tony Rebel was on it. Freddie McGregor was on it. Yeah? Uh, Malik Yuba was on it. Royal Girl. Diana King was on it. A whole lot of people. So, venue please. The venue was Fairs Entertainment Center. Then we move it from there and go to Brooks Park. So during 
1994 December, my virgin garnet silk then. And then what happened now is that the one when we do 1995, me do a tribute to my virgin. Some fest did a tribute to my virgin too. So a whole lot of people kind of get it mixed up and figure say, oh, it's gonna silk birthday. It is not, see? So the rumors where people always are listening to, don't listen to that. You want to know when it's gonna birthday? The 2nd of April. And if you go on YouTube, you'll see him used to keep his thing. Um, gonna silk birthday bash. Everton Blender used to have Everton Bl Blender birthday bash. Yes, so Safari used to have one thing named Red Dot where he keeps. So all of we used to keep our thing, but oh, you know, fortunately or uh, unfortunately, his Rebel Salute stand still. You know what I mean? The whole of the man them had no virgin at that time. So I hope you get that clear. Zane? So per Tony, everyone including Yasos was doing their own event and there should be no conflation of any two events. He did not credit Yasos as having any involvement in the development of Rebel Salute and said his event just happens to be the one that stood the test of time. Now Garnet isn't around to give a third side to the story but per Yasos and Tony we can conclude that his birthday bash should not be confused for Rebel Salute or a revised Rebel Salute. We can also agree that clearly something happened to drive a wedge between the two living members of the Three Musketeers as they are no longer close and Yasos has distanced himself from Rebel Salute. Yasos did however have positive words concerning the evolution of the brand when I spoke to him. Yes, I feel proud because it has accomplished something that is significant to the country and the people and continues to do so. It has also contributed to the development of Rastafari or culture, music and artists. He did however posit that the show should do more to honor Garnet Silk which I'm not mad that since he and Tony were good friends. I must acknowledge that Rebel Salute has definitely opened its stage to new gen singers from Garnet's family including his sons Aaron Silk and Garnet Silk Jr. Despite the fallout, both Tony and Yasos have expanded in beautiful ways, greatly contributing to the culture and edutainment sector. The 28th staging of Rebel Salute is slated for January 20 and 21 at its Grizzly Plantation Cove home base in Priory St. Anne. Yasos on the other hand has continued did his work in dub poetry, releasing several albums and also spearheading the Jamaica Poetry Festival which had its 12th staging in August. He's also behind Poetry in Motion, another event which he started in 2004. What are your thoughts on the situation? Let's talk in the comments. Until next time, tell a friend to tell two and a half friends, the neighbor and a stray cat to subscribe for more videos about contextualized pop culture.